step into the world of a 1972 TV series that's a classic in its own right, The Bob Newhart Show. This sitcom introduces you to the everyday life of a psychologist named Bob Hartley, played by the one and only Bob Newhart. No need for fancy language, it's just good, straightforward humor. As you settle into the episodes, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are moments that'll have you laughing out loud, others that might leave you in shock, and a few that'll tug at your heartstrings. So, why stop now? Keep watching for the funny, the shocking, and the downright sad. Have you ever found inspiration or a life lesson in a sitcom? Share your personal stories about how the Bob Newhart Show has impacted your life. We're all ears. Or maybe you're curious about the behind-the-scenes tales and lesser-known facts of this classic series. What fascinates you about it? Before you go, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic show? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. It's your turn to share the laughter and nostalgia. Get ready for more insights and anecdotes about the Bob Newhart Show. Keep those stories coming, we're listening. The Bob Newhart Show, premiering in 1972, is a timeless sitcom that revolves around the daily life of Bob Hartley, a psychologist brilliantly portrayed by the incomparable Bob Newhart. Set in Chicago, the series captures the essence of relatable humor without the need for extravagant language. As we delve into Bob Hartley's world, we witness a captivating blend of laughter, surprises, and touching moments. The show's narrative weaves through the challenges of Bob's professional life as a psychologist, offering a humorous lens into the quirks and idiosyncrasies of his patients. The simplicity of the setting in Chicago serves as a backdrop to the engaging and straightforward humor that defines the show. The main characters, including Bob's witty wife Emily, his peculiar colleagues, and the assorted cast of clients, contribute to the charm of the Bob Newhart Show. Each character brings a unique flavor to the series, adding layers of depth to the comedic situations that unfold in Bob's professional and personal life. This classic series has not only stood the test of time, but has also garnered accolades for its outstanding contributions to the world of sitcoms. The Bob Newhart Show has left an indelible mark on television history, earning recognition for its authentic portrayal of everyday life and its ability to resonate with audiences. As viewers were treated to a roller coaster of emotions from moments of uproarious laughter to poignant scenes that tug at our heartstrings. The show's impact extends beyond the screen, prompting viewers to reflect on their own lives and find connections to the characters and their experiences. So, whether you're a fan of classic sitcoms or a newcomer to the world of the Bob Newhart Show, prepare for a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and a genuine reflection of the human experience. It's a show that continues to leave an enduring legacy in the realm of television comedy. Bob Hartley's world in the Bob Newhart Show isn't always filled with laughter and light-hearted moments. One memorable incident involves him narrowly escaping a potentially fatal fall down an empty elevator shaft. This heart-stopping scene, a precursor to similar occurrences in later movies and TV shows, adds an unexpected twist to the series. In a surprising revelation, Jerry, a character in the show, is unveiled to be adopted. The plot thickens as he embarks on a journey to find his birth mother, discovering a tragic twist to his family history. His American plumber father, working in England during World War II, met a tragic end in an air raid, adding a poignant layer to the show's narrative. The setting plays a crucial role, with Bob's office situated on the seventh floor, specifically in Suite 751. This detail not only adds a touch of realism, but also becomes a recurring backdrop for various comedic and dramatic moments. As the series unfolds, the simplicity of Chicago as the backdrop continues to provide a canvas for engaging and straightforward humor. The characters from Bob's witty wife Emily to quirky colleagues contribute to the charm, creating a portrayal of everyday life. Despite its unassuming beginnings in 1972, the show has stood the test of time. Whether it's the laughter-inducing scenes, surprising twists, or poignant moments, it has become a part of television history, prompting viewers to reflect on their own lives and find connections to the characters and experiences. Amidst the laughs and chuckles of the Bob Newhart show, a quirky tradition emerged off-screen, a drinking game that became a favorite among college students. The rules were simple, take a sip whenever someone said Bob, and if it escalated to a friendly hi Bob, you had to gulp down your drink. 
It added a playful twist to the fan experience, blending on-screen humor with a social activity, mirroring the show's easygoing charm. Behind the scenes, the man at the heart of it all, Bob Newhart, relied on a unique method to navigate his role. With lines scribbled on hidden cards scattered around the set, he skillfully ensured a seamless performance. His knack for forgetting lines didn't hinder the show's success. Instead, it added a touch of authenticity to his character, making the psychologist more relatable to viewers. Season 3 throws a curious curvy ball when it comes to Bob's age. The character's age is pegged at 45, but a few episodes later, a contradiction emerges. He mentions his mother's age, revealing a mathematical oddity that suggests she was 11 when he was born. It's a minor hiccup in the show's continuity, but adds unintended humor to the mix. In the midst of the humor, the show takes unexpected turns, offering glimpses into the characters' lives beyond the laughter. One heart-stopping moment involves Bob narrowly escaping a fall down an elevator shaft, foreshadowing similar incidents in future TV shows and movies. The revelation of Jerry's adoption unfolds a poignant subplot, delving into the character's search for his birth mother and uncovering a tragic chapter in his family history. The show's setting, notably Bob's seventh floor office in Suite 751, becomes more than a mere backdrop. It serves as a recurring stage for both comedic and dramatic moments, grounding the series in a realistic portrayal of everyday life. Chicago, with its simplicity, continues to be the canvas for engaging and straightforward humor that defines the show. As the series progresses, the enduring appeal becomes evident. Its blend of laughter, surprises, and genuine reflection on the human experience cements its place in television history. The characters, from Bob's witty wife Emily to his peculiar colleagues, contribute to the charm, creating a portrayal of everyday life that resonates with audiences. In conclusion, The Bob Newhart Show, with its unique quirks and unexpected twists, remains a classic that transcends time. The drinking game, the hidden cue cards, and the amusing age discrepancy add layers to the show's legacy. It's a testament to the lasting power of straightforward humor and relatable characters in the world of television comedy. The exterior shots of Bob Hartley's office building, situated at 430 North Michigan Avenue near the Wrigley Building, offer a glimpse into the real-world backdrop of the Bob Newhart Show. The Uptown Federal Savings sign is a subtle yet consistent detail in these shots, anchoring the show's fictional world in the bustling reality of Chicago. Bob and Emily's residence, apartment 523, serves as the domestic backdrop to their lives. This detail adds a layer of authenticity to the series, emphasizing the simplicity of their everyday experiences. The choice of apartment number becomes a subtle element that keen-eyed viewers might appreciate. Suzanne Plachette's vocal evolution over time is an intriguing facet of the show's cast. In The Bob Newhart Show, Plachette's voice maintains a normal alto range. However, as her career progresses, her voice undergoes a transformation, reaching a baritone quality. This shift is attributed to the toll of constant stage screaming and smoking. The contrast between her voice in the 70s sitcom and her later roles, such as The Queen of Mean and Spirited Away, reflects the physical demands and changes that actors undergo throughout their careers. As the series progresses, the seventh floor setting of Bob's office in Suite 751 continues to play a pivotal role. This specific location becomes more than just a backdrop. It becomes a recurring stage for both comedic and dramatic moments. The show's commitment to this detail adds a touch of realism to the narrative, grounding the series in the day-to-day -day experiences of its characters. The Bob Newhart Show also leaves a mark beyond the screen with a quirky drinking game that gained popularity among college students. Taking a sip whenever someone says Bob and gulping down the drink for a friendly high, Bob adds a playful layer to the fan experience, mirroring the show's easygoing charm. In the midst of the humor, the show takes unexpected turns, such as a curious age discrepancy in Season 3. Bob's age, initially set at 45, encounters a mathematical oddity when his mother's age is mentioned, offering unintended humor to the viewers. These subtle inconsistencies contribute to the show's charm, making it more relatable and endearing. The Bob Newhart Show, with its genuine reflection of human experiences, continues to stand the test of time. From the real-world Chicago setting to the evolving voice of its cast members and the quirky traditions spawned by fans, the series remains a classic in television comedy, offering laughter and relatability to generations of viewers.